Hello friends and welcome to another reshade tutorial. This time um, we're going to be looking at reshade version 4.3. The reason for this is because uh, since my last tutorial back in September, which was for uh, version 4.9, not only has version uh, 5 been released, but we've also had a bug in photo mode since January, which is almost 100 days ago, according to my countdown. <laughs> It doesn't seem like there's a fix for it coming anytime soon, and unfortunately, um, that prevents version 4.9, or basically any version above 4.3, from working in photo mode because you can't have the um, anti-aliasing or um, reflections turned on in-game. But it does work for 4.3, um, and personally, I haven't been using it because uh, it's been missing a lot of the effects that I normally use. But Thankfully, uh, my dear friend and fellow uh, co-admin of Star Stable Photography Center, Eva Darwin has figured out how to uh, make it work again and how to import effects uh, into this program because I'm not tech savvy, so I'm not going to take any credit for making this work. She showed me everything yesterday and now I'm showing you guys, so I'm only passing on the information that I've now been told. But it's a really simple um, download and setup, so let's get right into it. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a Mediafire folder, which basically contains all of the old versions of Reshade. So navigate your way to Reshade 4.0 and then to 4.3, because that's the one that we're going to be using. Um, just click download and place it wherever you want. After you download it and open the application, just click here. Um, you might also get a list of games that you're, um, that the program kind of finds on its own, but Star Stable is not one of them, so you'll have to click Browse Games if that's the case. Click Browse Games, then go to your main drive, which is Windows C, and go to Program Files 86, find Star Stable Online, and the Client folder, and then select the application SSO Client. Um, the game uses the OpenGL rendering API, and then just select yes um, for this. It'll now download some standard effects. You'll see all the ones here. Make sure they're all checked off, and then click OK. And now you'll see we have a successful installation. After you've installed it to the game, the next thing you want to do is you want to open the uh, drive link that I have linked in the description of this video. Um, it is basically a compilation of all of the effects from uh, the 4.9 version, I believe. Uh, just all of the, um, like, the entire effects list, pretty much. These are like the standard effects that come with the program, I believe, and then these are um, additional ones that they basically suggest but that aren't um, automatically included, and then you can add on afterwards, which is what we're gonna do. Um, so either just download all of these, or just a few if you know what you're looking for, the ones that I'm going to be downloading and adding to the game um, for me personally is uh, Queen to DOF, which is um, the depth of field effect commonly referred to as ADOF. Uh, I will also be downloading this one, the Quint SSR, which is the effect that basically gives you like a wet ground look, and also Quint Mixal, um, which is like a kind of contrast um, edge detection kind of thing. When you do download, make sure to download the Quint Common if you do. The Quint Effect needs this file to kind of read uh, in the in the program. I will also be downloading uh, from the Corgi FX folder um, Canvas Fog because that's like my go-to. Adolf and Canvas Fog are my go-to effects. We'll then go to the Client folder again, which is the one where we uh, you'll see that my file path here. Um, it's the one that where we set up the game or we set up Reshade to um, the application. Then open Reshade Shaders and Shaders. And then here you have the entire list of basically just everything that's included in 4.3 um, naturally. So what I do is just I select the effects that I want to download, right click, click download. I'll show you the file path just one more time. So it's um, go to your PC, uh, to your main drive, which is the C drive, program files 86, find star stable online, go to client, and then to reshade shaders and to shaders. It's a lot of clicking, but you've got it. Just click save and to save your effects in that folder. And then basically just repeat that for every single um, effect that you want to download. If you want to just download all of them, then do that. After you've downloaded the effects that you want, just open your game. Um, the one thing that we're going to be doing now to see and make sure that everything works is we're going to be pressing home to bring up the interface just like in the other versions and uh, I suggest just taking a look at this uh, tutorial uh, I won't be doing that because I've already done it just take a look at the tutorial 
as you can see I've already had uh, since I had this version installed previously um, some of my effects are still like loading in but just don't mind that your list is gonna be blank if this is the first time you're downloading the, the effects the first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna click this button here edit preprocessor definitions and then all of these three values here need to be set to zero so just change the one in the middle and then my normal recommendation is to um, have an effect reload key so for me that's R and then toggle key is Q that's usually what I do and then I also changed it to block input when cursor is on overlay this these are just like personal preferences so just change these as you want um, and uh, this is the one I only recommend changing um, to put it to block input when cursor is on overlay so basically when I'm moving stuff here nothing happens but I can still move the camera around if I do move my uh, my cursor off of the overlay and here we go, now I've managed to um, install everything properly, everything's working as it should, and the difference between um, this version and 4.9, which is the most commonly used one, is that with this version you can actually have your reflections and you can have your anti-aliasing turned on, which you can't have with the newer versions unfortunately. So that's why this one works in photo mode at the moment, when the other ones don't. Here's something you might want to look into a little bit. Um, if you have been tabbed out of the game for a little while, you might see that your effects are kind of uh, freezing. Um, just open your settings. Let me let you see this. Um, just open your settings, go into graphics, and then turn on or off reflections, because that will like reload your effects. So just do that, and they will be back to normal. So don't worry if they kind of freeze. And we got all the pretty water, even though we've got um, reshade turned on. So that's awesome. I really love that. Just remember that the reflections are quite heavy and can make some computers lag. I've heard a lot of people complaining about it, so uh, if your game is lagging too much with reflections turned on, just turn them off. Presets don't seem to be transferable um, from the newer versions to version 4.3, so if you do have any presets that you want uh, to use, make sure that they're um, made for 4.3. Um, and if not, just take a look at the, the files, see what effects the presets include, and if you want to make your own presets, Hi, this is Jess from the future. When I was editing this video, I realized that my explanation for presets really sucked, so I'm doing it again. <laughs> when you first do start up, you're going to be working in the default preset if you don't change anything, and you then start modifying um, your effects or whatnot, you're going to be working in the default preset. If you want to make a new preset, just click plus, name it something, whatever, like one, two, three. Bam, new preset, now you can change whatever you want. So let's say I have canvas fog for this one, and then in my default preset I have like depth of field so then I can just switch between these and this is the one that I've been using this video and I've got this uh, preset linked down below in the description as well so if you guys want to download this with all of these effects and all of the hotkeys that I use just download this preset and uh, you're good to go if you want to rename your presets or if you want to share them or just in general find them Go to the clients folder and then all of the ones that you see here, the configuration settings, all of those are presets. So yeah, that's it. And I definitely have lost my voice a little bit, so <laughs> take care. But just mess around with the effects, uh, try to find something that suits your style and what you want to use, um, and just in general, have fun. For any questions you might have, I will not be answering anything in my Instagram DMs or in the comments of this video. Please join the Star Stable Photography Center Discord server. Um, we have reshade news, we have a help chat for reshade, we also have help chats in general, we have photo critiques, we have monthly photography challenges, just uh, like a whole bunch of creative stuff and hopefully you guys will enjoy. But uh, if you have any questions and need help with reshade, please mes message us there, either someone in the staff team or just someone else who might know the answer to your question will help you. There will also be um, some tutorials and everything kind of hubbed together. So come join the server. I will not be helping anyone in comments because it's just too hard to troubleshoot and stuff like that. So please respect that. Please enjoy. Have fun. Um, take some nice photos. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.